guys today we're going to be talking about mullen automotive stock that increased 30 percent on battery test news so let's get to it important part mullen automotive solid state battery exceeds testing expectations battery carries a value of more than 343 ah at 4.2 volts not sure what a ah is but we'll we'll search for what it is shares of <laughs> mullen stock are still down more than 70 percent year to date 70 percent holy shit okay so shares of mullen auto mullen automotive are soaring higher by more than 30 percent after indiana's battery innovation center released positive test result on the company's solid state polymer battery cell before testing Mullen's battery was rated at a value of 300 ampere hours, that's AH, thanks guys, at 3.7 volts. BIC's testing showed the battery carried a value of 343.28 ampere hour at 4.2 volt. Cool. These numbers are in line with previous test results from EV Grid. Data from both battery testers have exceeded result and showed potential for future solid state battery application. After today's sh gain, shares of Mullen stock are still down more than 70% year to date. Now investors are hoping that the test results can turn things around. So I did check their stock last year around November. They were around 16 ish dollars. Uh, they're now down at $1.42. So it makes us there down 70%. So I think this is currently their volume is what? Oh my god, I can't see this. It's gonna be so annoying. Maybe like 40, 40 million, around 40, 30. So this would be a good example of a penny stock. So a couple of things from this point, this uh, up to here that I'm curious about is what is this value of a 343.28? amp for hours at 42 volt so for this i guess we have to understand how battery works to kind of understand what this value means and why it's better than other cars so continuing mullen stock soars on um, battery test results when scaled to the vehicle pack level at a 150 kilowatt hour equivalent the battery is expected to deliver more than 600 miles of range on the single charge for Mullen 5 electric vehicle crossover. Solid state batteries carry an advantage over traditional lithium ion batteries. This is because they generally offer higher energy density, faster charging time, and improved safety features. The CEO Dave was pleased with the test results, adding, I'm impressed with the ongoing performance of the solid state cell after going through multiple intense testing sessions from accredited testing facilities. The battery has performed exceptionally well and I'm pleased with the results from BIC in Indiana. We hear that 600 miles of range on a single charge is very good because lucid is at what 500 miles what is tesla at and uh they did talk about solid state battery carry an advantage over the traditional lithium-ion battery so they are using the solid state battery like technology or method versus lithium-ion battery and for them i think solid state is working much more so something to be looking out for is which method in the end would be first of all environmentally friendly would be number one and then how long the battery lasts and how charging would affect because that's normally what the electric vehicle uh wants to solve issues that electric vehicles want to solve so random number of battery yay i still don't know what these mean right battery innovators are like castles in the sky or like widely speculative in addition, it seems Mullen has proven short seller Hindenburg research wrong. In a short report, Hindenburg claimed that EV grid testing of Mullen's battery was just a rehash of testing the company had already announced in 2020. Hindenburg also stated a senator executive who was involved with the battery claimed it didn't exist at all. I need to actually figure out what they claim. So what did they say? What the heck? 
Short seller also claimed that two electric vehicles that Mullen and his manufacturer are actually vehicles ordered from China. So he, this team is kind of saying, hey, this is like a pro stock, not good stock. But then I guess since this article was April, uh, two months ago, they came out with a new result saying, hey, actually our battery is legit and it's actually better than other EV cars. So don't diss our EV. Wasn't the name of the Zeppelin Zip Zeppelin that blew up the Hindenburg? Moving on, Mullen Automotive announces U.S. test drive tour. Earlier this month, the EV car company announced it will begin its strikingly different U.S. test drive tour. The tour will begin in October in Southern California and cover 19 cities across the country. At the tour. Front row, five reservation holders will be given the first opportunity to test and experience the EV. Oh, I kind of want to try this. Other cities on the tour include New York, Boston, Memphis, and more. So this is known as a penny stock. Mm. So what do you guys, from reading this article, since they're saying all the good things. Hey, we beat Lucid. We beat a lot of companies saying we can drive up to 600 miles per one battery charging. We have a very sexy car. It's colored. I have no clue what that is. Like beigey, shiny beige, sexy car. All the articles that people posted from Hindenburg, yada yada yada, they're all fake because we actually proved it. And we need to understand if their tech actually works. How do you know? Maybe, wait, I want to see where their test news came out. Wait, maybe it's in their website. Wait, I wanna check. So Mullen is actually a so Southern California based automotive company. I feel like especially the EV cars are located in Cali and then the regular gasoline cars are in michigan at this point new car company is always a huge gamble that's true <laughs> uh, in, like mine <laughs> so where can we find the report it should be in investor relations mullen automotive announces impressive solid state polymer battery test so earlier, I guess something that I want to find is, is what is solid state polymer battery and how is that different from lithium ion battery? Because I think that would be something interesting to look into because I think both Lit Lucid and Tesla, I think even Rivian lithium ion. And then this is a solid state. So lithium ion batteries are a lot more established. Solid state batteries are a lot newer, lighter, safer, and easy to produce. Easier to produce. Some of them use liquids to charge. I know there are some new techs on the horizon that's going to replace lithium ion batteries. Ah, so that must be solid state batteries. So lithium ion batteries have a liquid electrolyte and solid state battery uses a solid electrolyte. Ah, so it's difference between liquid versus solid Ooh, of electrolyte how do you keep up with all these biases? solid so like what you guys said the key difference between lithium and solid state is what the ions move through so basically what you're saying is is it going through liquid or solid material ah but solid state battery is more demanding to make but could be more efficient than normal lithium battery so it must be the another and the next step up is solid state from the same inventors of lithium ion oh it's apparently it's better in every way but we're not sure a solid state is more compact Ooh, okay okay so we learned something new so from judging from what chat is saying it kind of have potential because they are using solid state and maybe that's the reason why they can have a longer distance of 600 miles I just wish they had like a like research paper or something that we could read instead of all these texts. Maybe it's just that I can't find it, but it would have been nice to see or how it was conducted and everything. Since you can't just judge by the news, but if that's the case, I think this no wonder it increased, but it does it will definitely take a very long time i think it would be interesting maybe the next thing to look into would be what you guys are saying solid state 
but there's so many electric vehicle related stocks out there that you just really have to know which one would be good also won't puff off or leak like lithium oh so lithium ion batteries actually leak compared to solid state Hmm. Yeah, I think it's a okay investment, but I probably won't put that since it can cause uh, confusion saying I... So, in conclusion, <laughs> it's great to know that there is a company that is doing well in terms of performance for solid state battery, but since it is penny stock, I am being very cautious in terms of should we invest or not so that's up to you guys to decide i'm not up uh, i'm not at this point but also i would be interested to see if there are other electric vehicle cars out there for example i mean tesla they say they're kind of not or if they are and lucid rivian or other places cars that are making electric vehicles right now like ford to see if they are going to move on to solid state battery or not so that's something to look out for and that is all for 